everybody welcome to mkt it's your host jackson indongo and today i'm gonna be showing you how i flipped a 13 dollar hoodie plus additions into 150 dollars this video is meant for people who are beginner sewers as a beginner sewer sometimes it's very difficult to have confidence to um, create projects and then want to sell them right away because you're not confident at all so this channel is for you i literally started sewing three to four months ago and I'm ready selling. I put out my first batch two weeks ago and I made almost close to $500 selling five items. I want you to embark on this journey with me and I can show you how I'm doing it. I want you to get ideas. I'm okay with you guys copying my work so that you can start off and build confidence. I will show you also some of the inspirations that I am following on this journey and then tweaking it into my own style all those things are what my channel is going to embark and what i'm still trying to do so if this is something you are interested in please give me a follow like and subscribe to my channel and i'm here to show you things that you can do to help you get started in your sewing journey tips and tricks i will do the whole shaz shabam i will create all kinds of videos for you guys so if that's something you're interested in please subscribe to my channel and i'm here to help you i'm also going to be showing you how i've created my online um what is this website and all the things i've bought to go along with it so this is me trying to build an e-commerce right from the ground and building up uh and build it up so if that's something you're also interested in please check out my videos that i'll be dropping in the near future without further ado let's get into this flip and I'm gonna show you how you can get started. All right guys, so this hoodie costed me $8 and then the vest that's coming up costed me nothing because I got it for free from the Facebook marketplace. And I went to the thrift store and bought these jeans, shorts for like three bucks. And this is the design that I was thinking of putting together. So this is what it's gonna look like on the final product so yeah so now first steps you need to do is i got my seam ripper and started taking apart the hoodie so this is the sped up version of it i didn't want to cut with the scissors because you know i'm a first time beginner sewer and yeah that's just more seam ripping i always believe that if you're a beginner sewist i am telling you, you these are things you have to do it's easier just to get a scissors and cut through but i'm telling you doing this will help you with uh bettering your sewing skills so now that i've cut it i decided to do half of uh the pocket that is on my hoodie i decided to leave half of it as opposed to just taking the whole thing apart so this is me trying to put things together just to see how it will actually look and how much of the vest I need to cut in order for things to match up. So as you can see, that's half of the pocket that I'm going to cut and then sew right at that line. So now I'm starting to seam rip as well the vest so that it um, I'm removing the zipper because I wanted to leave the zipper on, but I, j I just found that it didn't really look good. Uh, for the look that I was going for and two it would be wasting a zip I could use it for another project if to be fair like that was probably the biggest reason is because I wanted to use a zipper for another project and yeah so this is me just measuring so that the vest can fit with the hoodie at the moment and I'm still just putting things together to see how they look so the first thing I'm starting to sew right now is half the pocket so right now it's already sewn because I thought I was recording but I did not so I cut half of the pocket of the hoodie so that way it can still have that natural aesthetic. So you're going to have one side hoodie and one side vest pocket because the vest side of things actually comes um, with a pocket similar to that of the hoodie. So this is me sewing half of the pocket because I cut the other half. There you go. So that's me now putting the vest on and I'm getting ready to sew the vest onto the hoodie. This concept for me was inspired by, um, I think it was an Instagrammer that I saw. He had this amazing vest hoodie, which if I find the pictures, I'm actually just going to slap it on here so you can see. 
such creative artists they are like ever since i began my sewing journey i've realized just how authentic and uh, amazing people are at making clothes like i'm a beginner sewer and even i'm just <laughs> trust me i'm just um astonished by how much talent there is in this world sewing um uh, brings peace to me i find like you start to learn just it, it, it's a lot it does take a lot of time you know but once you start to create your first piece because for me this is my second piece that i created um in terms of clothes wise okay and just going through the process of learning as i go has taught me so many skills and just being comfortable with my machine being able to work with different materials like it you get better i've realized each time you saw especially if you're not scared if you're willing to take a risk with projects you will get better at sewing i've only been sewing for the last five six months now and guys each project i've done just has gotten better and better and better this project i made so many mistakes that i actually um uh, fixed later on after my skill level got, went up so yeah sewing and, and trying on different projects i know it's, it's a very scary thing to do but i can 100 percent promise you that if you just uh keep at it you know if you're bored enough to just take on the challenge and try different things with sewing you're gonna learn so much faster than trying to play it safe so this is me just touching up the final things onto the hoodie making sure um the whole thing um fits together so one thing about adding the vest onto the hoodie is i did not remove i just slapped it over the uh the hoodie and i did not remove uh, the back lining of the hoodie because I still wanted to keep the hoodie material because if I just cut out and and blended the things together uh, if I'm being honest the vest is pretty rough and um, that's not the aesthetic I was going for I still wanted people to still have that comfortable feeling inside and keep in mind guys I'm using a heavy duty needle uh, because I was using a normal needle before and three of them just broke so I'm using a heavy duty woven needle so i switched it up so that it could literally pass through. like this hoodie is a champion's hoodie and it's very heavy so when you add that with a fishing vest it was a lot so that's when you see me like tagging through uh pressing through stretching pulling it's because the hoodie is actually heavy and that's one thing that my friend actually liked because this hoodie was bought already by my friend by the time i was done and he liked it a lot just for the simple fact that it was a very heavy um hoodie so it, it provided warmth and just the material of it champions does make good hoodies especially if you actually f f find like the um, uh the original and not ones that are just made from like um uh, places that are not uh champion approved so this one for sure was um uh, an amazing hoodie so yeah that is what it looks like right now i still haven't closed it off but i liked how it looked it uh blended itself pretty well so that was the front uh of the hoodie now i'm focusing on working on the side pocket so this is with denim now okay and then on the side of the hoodie i decided to rip that apart and add some jean material as well because i just thought it would add to the aesthetic so of course like i said i seam ripped it apart i did not cut it with the scissors and i matched it with the jean so this is me now adding the jean to the hoodie because remember again i still want the people to still have that soft aesthetic when they put on the hoodie i don't want it to be rough so um this is me sewing that part and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next section once this video is done and yeah just enjoy my sewing process i know a lot of the videos that i'm i'm talking a lot and it's gonna be a long video but i just don't want to skip steps I, I want you guys to actually feel like you are part of this journey as i saw all right so now that now that that it's done i'm now gonna blend this into um the hoodie so i'm gonna put it together now 
So now we're working with the pocket. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, this project, <laughs> it was tough. Uh, for the simple fact that I have never worked on uh, something so extensive. So, like I said, so many mistakes were made with this project that I later corrected once I got better at sewing. But yeah, so I'm gonna add the pocket, then I'm gonna add um, that side denim um, of the hoodie after this. Alright, so on this part, I had to separate the um, the pocket from, I don't even know what they call those things, but anyway, the thing that attaches the pocket to, I don't even know what that is called, so that the pocket came closed, so I had to make sure I, I detach it and sew it separately, so this is what's going on on this part of things. Remember guys, if you're a beginner sewer, courage. You have to have the courage to try different things. It's the only way you're gonna get better. You have to force yourself to be comfortable with trying stuff. Yes, you will mess up and it will be frustrating, but I promise you, the more you saw and the more you mess up, the better you get because you're gonna learn. All right, now we are gonna be working on that little pop. Remember, remember the side of the hoodie that I made with denim? That's what I'm sewing now. So I made sure I clipped it. Um, clippers are a game changer for me instead of using pins. Ever since I bought these, pins are still necessary for sure in certain aspects, but ever since I bought these clippers, man, made the job so much easier. I found that using clippers for me has just sped up my sewing process with pins. I just found they kept bending, especially when you're using like heavy material. And I also found that I was literally pricking myself on every pin and it was just getting frustrated until I watched um, an Instagram video where the lady was like, guys, you need to get these clippers. I was very hesitant at the beginning, but ever since I bought these clippers, guys, game changer, like getting clips was literally speed up your sewing process. I promise you that. So look into clips and uh, you can find them on Amazon. They're probably going like for a batch of like a hundred or 50 or 60, they're probably going for like 12 bucks or 15 at max invest yourself into some clippers all right guys so pocket is done as you can see it looks fire it looks clean it looks like it belongs and it adds to the aesthetics of um, streetwear that's denim by the way that's the side of the hoodie I added the denim again same material from the jean um, the jean shorts that I bought at the beginning adds to the aesthetics you're gonna see at the end once I show you the final review it actually looks pretty amazing well, I'll just add it right now honestly so you can see how that looks so side pocket we got the side denim and then we got the fishing vest so far things are looking pretty amazing i'm in love with this hoodie guys so now we're just adding the final touches the uh the fishing vest came with um this like hooky thingy um so i i took that hook so these are uh, if you are fishing you can add like my um what's this fishing tools so i just cut and then I just added it as an aesthetic towards the end. And yeah, this was me doing up the final touches. Of course, I skipped a lot of steps, but this is just to make the video short. And um, yeah, but this was pretty much the hoodie. So all together, uh, this hoodie sold pretty fast. As soon as I sold it, sold it to my friend, he bought it super quickly. So yeah, this is how I converted 
almost like $15 in 250 guys so that was a video about the flip i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for getting through and seeing what i did if there's any questions that you have please feel free to leave them in the comment section i really appreciate you getting through this video i really appreciate your support and embarking this journey with me please feel free to like comment and subscribe i'll really appreciate it as somebody who's a small business owner i really take pride in the things that i'm doing and having a community of beginner sewers such as myself um i will really appreciate your support and i will offer as much help as i can to the people who support me i'll see you guys in the next video i really appreciate you getting by and take care of yourselves and happy 2024